All right, so I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, my day's not so bad. Um, I hope everyone's doing good. Um, so uh, this is my review for Spudnik. Um, so the story of this is, and this is a, it's labeled as a sci-fi fantasy, and I can kind of go between that and horror. I wasn't, there was no real scariness to it. I was kind of going into thinking this. And what the plot of this is, it's, Russia in the 1980s, it's the Cold War, and three astronauts are on their way, Russian astronauts, are on their way back to Earth. And so something happens, something breaches their their uh, uh, aircraft, I think it is. I don't know what you would label that as. Um, and so they come back to Earth, and uh, the military gets a hold of them and does experiments, and a, they get the help of a female... Uh, doctor who comes in and as evaluates it. Um, so I will say first off the thing that I did not like about this, and this is like the only really only thing. Um, it's not about the movie particular. It's there's no dubbing, but there's also no subtitles. Um, I did go around fixing this because uh, I do watch this movie on um, my iTunes uh, device puck. I, Apple IPTV, I believe it's called. Uh, the name's a little weird for what it is. Um, and so I had to go and go back and forth and, you know, do settings and stuff. So I do wish that they would have had an option, and maybe this is more down the line with the new versions, um, where you can move the the wording up a little bit. So it's not like a little more up so I don't have to keep looking up and down to get away from the story, but I do definitely get um, used to it. Um, however, what really just got me out of not caring that much out of the um, the having to read, because um, uh, uh, first of all, I'm a, I'm a slow reader as I said before, so they also kind of talk a little fast in a lot of spots. So I, I kind of didn't get everything, but I got a, a, a lot of, uh, of uh, what I needed to get into the story. Uh, there was definitely, it was some stuff that, uh, that I didn't literally read was uh, definitely not necessarily of the portents of the gut of the story. Uh, more side stuff thrown in there to the story. Um, but, uh, but again, but what got me into it was the, as soon as the hit soundtrack hit, um, it, it was just really intense. Imagine, um, he ever listened to death metal and as soon as the, the, the gut throating deep growls hit, uh, you know, you, you get that, the big general, general rush of, uh, adrenaline and, um, you, you get that stink face. That's what I got with this a bunch of times within the first hour. Uh, from the, the tribal drums to this, the, uh, the upbeat um, kind of deep uh, dramaticness to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was really good. And then it, it tones it down after an hour. And then you, and I really get into the story. Um, I had no clue that Russian, or maybe I did, uh, but I can't recall anything Russian I, I watched. I think actually there was, actually now that I think of it, there was a, a uh, one that got mixed reviews. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it is also a sci-fi one and it's uh, about the end of the world and aliens as well. Um, but I, 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 the whole Russian Hollywood version, I, I, I was really, some, somewhat taken back of how high budget quality this was. Um, the the production value of this was really definitely high, from the cameras to the camera uh, quality to the acting of where I could tell. And you know, this one was definitely more easier because there was no dubbing, so that the dubbing kind of messes up with your thought process of the acting. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, the what really actually stood out to me, though, out of the production value was not the camera uh, quality, but the fact that they, they up the ante with the deepness and quality of, uh, of uh, the sounds and the sound effects. Um, I, it strikes me as something, I'm like almost for sure, it's not even striking. It, it's just like I'm 100% sure that if I was wearing headphones, you would, it was so good and so, you know, specific that you would definitely would think you are in the room with the alien and all these people. It, it's that freaking good. It really is. Um, there was definitely some scenes in the, the cut scenes, not cut scenes, but the scene, the cut of the scenes to scene the scene was a bit... A little bit off it's not that big of a deal um, but overall I, I it has a really good story really good production value and um, you know a good acting I I was really enjoying it I was really into the music in the first half and even with the story I was definitely into it um, I didn't know what to think of this, uh, you know, going into it. Uh, I, I'm really, really happy I watched it, and I'm actually kind of kicking myself that I didn't. I, it took me this long to get to it. Uh, this came out at the beginning of last month, so technically I could have done it as a Hollywood, um, as a Halloween thing. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I highly recommend you you watch this movie. Um, it, it's a, definitely a solid five out of five uh, stars film um yeah that's that's much that's all i got for you um uh hopefully i'll have something out on wednesday i'm kind of running low on stuff so i'm kind of going back to on uh, netflix and looking at old stuff so i don't see anything particular that's coming out this week or maybe i have but i don't see anything new at least on itunes so um, whenever I'll get back to you guys, but, uh, you know, I hope everyone's doing health are good. Hope you're all healthy and I love you all. And, um, yeah, uh, school.